Hello and welcome to this Electrical Principles training video. In this video, we have the absolute privilege of having Mr. John Ward feature on my tiny little Science and Principles channel. You didn't realise how tiny it was till I said that, did you, John? Yeah, I didn't so, know, yeah, he's, no, like, he's no. off now. He's <laughs> small time, yeah. But uh, no, really, thank you very much for coming along. Uh, obviously, we've shot some material for GSH Electrical this morning. Uh, and thank you for coming to college to meet our learners. Let's hear it from the learners. <laughs> yeah, that's what I have to come to work with. So, uh, thank you very much. So, what we're going to do in this video, uh, we're going to try and shoot a couple of videos this afternoon. Uh, the first one, we're going to have a look at some older testing equipment, uh, some that uh, I managed to dig out from our uh, stores here. Uh, and what was quite nice was I was thinking, I'm not sure if John's going to want to do this. I'm not sure if this is going to be quite right. And then when John came in and you opened up your box of goodies, what did I see in there yep. straight away, John? Nice wooden box with something inside. A nice wooden box with a, an old piece of testing equipment inside. And I thought, I have nailed this yeah so uh, what we'll do is we'll bring the camera in uh, and we'll have a look at some of these bits of kit see uh, how it used to be done and then we'll, uh, we'll we'll discuss those between us we will let's get started so john we brought the camera in uh, and we've got this first lovely uh, test instrument here now the thing i love about these older meters is the way that they're sort of boxed up in these lovely uh, wooden containers it brings a kind of a nice air of sort of Refined craftsmanship yep, to the that's job. Right. Yeah. And uh, so made by uh, real craftsmen out of real timber. Yep. Not just a moulded piece of plastic from out of a factory. Absolutely. Unfortunately, they don't make them like this anymore. No, no, so, no. So uh, let's have a look inside this one. Yep. So open the catch up there. So when I first opened this up, I didn't have a clue what I was looking at here, John. So uh, talk us through this yep. one. What we've got here is an earth loop tester. And this is pretty much all it does. It's a single use instrument. Mm. So you've got your mains lead here, which you can plug into your normal outlet. All right, yep. Notice it's got unsleeved pins there. Oh, yeah. Because of the age of the thing. Yep. And uh, unlike new equipment where you just simply press a button, a bit of effort is required on this one, so you've got to obviously make your settings there and then really offer the scale at the top here. Yeah. This one can also do uh, tests for earth leakage circuit breakers. That's sort of that additional module on the top there. Fantastic. And it even has all the instructions printed right here yeah. inside the lid as yeah. well. With that lovely old uh, typewriter set uh, text as well. So yep. it's not come off a PC Absolutely. in uh, Arial. It's and, a lovely old beautiful and, font they've used. And that is actually someone who would have typed that out in yeah. the typing pool. And they've even made a mistake here where someone's had to write over it with a little pen oh, rather fantastic. than type out the whole thing again. Brilliant. It was another age, wasn't it? Yeah, it different was, different yeah. times. Yeah, it's just there's a couple of things down here. I'm just curious about as well. Did you have to set the voltage to the right level you that did. you were testing at? Yeah. So would you have had to do another test beforehand to tune that in? Yeah, or? probably. Wow. And at the time, it was quite common for voltages in different properties to be different. Yeah. Rather than the sort of standard uh, two thirty now. And you've got this little forward and reverse toggle. Is that the equivalent of the zero and one hundred and eighty degrees? Not really. No. No. no? It's uh, more to do with what you're actually testing right. on the uh, thing there, and they got your. Lovely. Press test the test button. there, and then the scale there just reads it off, and the uh, orange bit is either a fail, or if it's on a circuit with a uh, or PMA or TNCS, then in theory that's a pass as well. Oh, so yeah, it's not true. just plug it in and read it off. You've got to actually know what you're testing, and also whether it's in the right region for that particular thing mm. that you're actually testing as to whether it's a pass or a fail. Fantastic. So not to suggest that the industry is dumbing down at all but a different set of skills required Definitely. for using this bit of kit yeah. back in uh, back in the olden days. And of yeah. course, this is only a single test, so for anything else, yep, you had to get another wooden box with another piece of machinery inside. Wow. So it wasn't just a job with one thing, it was a whole rack of equipment yeah. you had to take. Each thing was its yeah. own separate piece of equipment. So again, you think about perhaps a modern multifunction tester, that's about the size it, it would be for everything. I mean, probably, you know, quite a bit smaller than that. And here, this is one test, you need like a separate van for yeah, just your test equipment. Just bringing the test yeah. equipment. Thing, <laughs> Fantastic, yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Wow, that's a beautiful one. So we'll uh, we'll put that to one side. Thank you so much for bringing that in, John, and discussing that with us. We'll pop that to one side and we'll have a look at uh, perhaps one of our, our bits of kit uh, that we've got here. So uh, one that I was particularly interested in, uh, this little fella here. So we'll bring this in and have a look again. Note the lovely old uh, wooden box that we've got here, the lovely old uh, craftsmanship that's gone into this with the a sort of safety catch on there to open it up. Now when we open this up, John, now again this is the first time you've seen this today, you've only had a very brief glimpse at this, what's this going to help us to understand? Uh, this is, uh, especially with no instructions, <laughs> but uh, as we've got on the front here, we've got lead and lag, so it's basically your inductive and uh, capacitive size yeah. there. And again, you've got your voltage selector on the front there. 
so uh, power factor. Yeah. And uh, as to how this was actually wired up, is a bit of a mystery at the moment yeah. because it's a bit vague in its uh, markings there. Yeah. So you've got these are marked VB, VC, MA, and LA. Yeah. So, um, so it's presumably it's going to be voltage on two of them and current on the other two. Yep. So presumably voltage here and current there, and then that will give you the uh, power factor. Yeah. And tell you whether it's lagging or leading. What a fantastic. Absolutely piece of kit yeah really nice so uh, as it happens actually with my uh, level twos and also with my second year learners who are in today we are going to be talking about power factor very very shortly um who knows i might have a go at getting this this test instrument set up and seeing if we can actually use it to measure power factor in a circuit i'd be quite interested to see if we can manage that um i think more likely it might lead to me exploding this bit of kit so uh, if anyone's watching who is familiar with this please feel free to contact us and tell us just how this could be set up so that we don't uh, we don't damage it but again a, a, a sort of not a, not a common piece of kit that you'll come across definitely not no and even on modern equipment you don't normally get this as a actual yeah. option on even the multi-function mm. testers but power factor it is important particularly in uh, not so much in domestic but certainly in the commercial mm. industrial very uh, good so precious bit of kit and we'll, we'll hang on to that and we'll keep that safe and I won't be using that until I know exactly how to yes. use it without causing severe damage. Lovely. Thank you very much for that. I'm going to make sure that goes back in our pile, John, if you don't mind. Yeah. <laughs> Accidentally going back. Very good. Another, uh, another quite a, a brutalist bit of kit that we've got here. Yeah. What do we reckon to that one then, John? Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, clamp meter or tong testers. Just uh, clamp around your conductor in the middle there. Yep. And you've got your uh, current on the front there. Yep. No batteries required for these ones. Mm -hmm. It's just basically a transformer, so yep. a single turn there, and a uh, considerable number of turns inside to actually run the meter there. Yep. I thought it'd be interesting just to bring in as well a sort of a, a modernised version of that from Mega. So this is a, a nice uh, sort of modern clamp meter. And again, you can see here the, the, the distance we've come. I mean, there's something beautiful about this old kit, I think. I, you know. Yeah, there is a bake light cases and everything. Yeah, yeah and like a, a turned wooden handle there, yeah. you know, there's real craftsmanship gone into that. But then you sort of start looking at the limitations and you think, well, it's only got one scale. It can only, you know, sort yeah, of... <laughs> single scale, only yeah. 200 amps, which is fine for some things, but I mean, yeah. this goes up to, what, 600 uh, amps on that one? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And also it'll go down a long way as well. You yeah. can get much smaller, you yeah, know, down to 0.1 of an amp. amps on there, you're not even going to notice it moving, it's are you? It's barely so. going to register, yeah. So uh, again, it's... Uh, we've got the, the beautiful old craftsmanship combined with the, you know, versus the, the kind of functionality of the kit yeah. that we've got now. And, uh, you know, that's, that's the reality of progress, isn't it? There's things to be said on both sides. But just, just hold this for a second, John. Just, that is a lovely yeah. action on there. Just and feel it's that. It's just a nice... Uh, it's lovely and yeah. weighty, isn't it? Yeah. And the size of conductor, you can get through that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely Wrap massive. it around anything, yeah. <laughs> it's so, a great bit of kit. Very nice. So, yeah, so just a comparison of the old and the new there. Thank you very much for watching.